today first class will be subcontracting yes now subcontracting process is a special stock type process the stock type is o o for orange okay it is a special stock in subcontracting process the manufacturer the particular company will create a purchase order with item category l l for lung okay then we shall send this purchase order to vendor to manufacture a particular finish goods okay because we do not have labor or special skill to manufacture this product eventually we shall send components to the vendor to subcontractor to make the finish goods then vendor will produce the finish goods deliver this finish goods within the stipulated delivery time delivery date there are different movements are type to locker goods movements type first is the 541 to issue the components to the vendor from the company right no accounting document takes place next is the vendor will manufacture this particular product in his premises or maybe at the company premises then will supply the products in his goods to our premises to our company premises then we shall create the movement type 101 for goods receipt along with we shall create the movement type 543 for components consumption and the vendor cost will be defined in the po in the pricing condition so this is called subcontracting so let us see the pictorial view so this is the purchasing we need to create a purchase order with the subcontracting item category l to send the components to the subcontracting vendor okay now this particular components is located in the storage location in our company premises maybe in near by our plant and sent to the vendors for production of the particular finished goods because our company does not have the specialized skill or labor for the production of a particular finished good so subcontracting will do on the purpose like in your oil and gas let us suppose that uh, your company does not have the labor or skill to produce a special material called it so you are sending components maybe like it came or some other raw materials components to vendor to produce it okay now this particular vendor will produce this particular product and will supply this particular finished goods to our company premises so it is happening from here to here and then it will coming from here to again back to our inventory management the storage location in our company premises particular plant then we shall create the invoice verification against this particular queue there are different accounting journals in the field like finished goods cost vendor charges then component charges 
then here let us suppose that vendor has consumed more or less of this particular components. So you can create the subsequent adjustment for the charges. So these are the accounting journals created in the bank based on the specific scenario. Got it? Yes. Very good. Any question? Yeah, so if we can make it simple, so the difference between regular PO and subcontracting is for regular PO, we just buy the products from scratch. But for right. subcontracted, for subcontracting, we send the raw materials to the vendor company, we send this component to them, and they will produce the product and send it back to us as finished product. Very good. And different movement types we got them. Ah, different movement type. So, okay, this is also different. Okay. Yeah, because it has got different movement types. Like 541, issue component to the vendors. What's the name of this movement type? 541, 541, movement type number. Ah, okay. Numeric 541. Got it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And chat. Okay. Then vendor will produce this product and supply back to company. Yeah. Okay. Company will do the goods issues. GR. Right. It is called the FGGR. Finished goods GR. GR. So it is uh, GR means FGGR. So what is the movement type? Finish good. Goods received. Followed by consumption of components means five forty. That's all. Okay. Okay. And the particular subcontracting charges will be defined in the view. How much charges? Maybe let us suppose that subcontracting is taking. $200 for the subcontracting charges, okay, for the particular manufacturing tax, for this particular production tax. So, 200 USD will be defined in the, very simple. Any question? Yeah, it's, it's clear. Got it? Yeah. Mainly, and the special stock type, as we know that it is a special stock, it is not a standard process, it is a special process. That's why it has got a special stock type. What is the special stock type? It is capital O, O for orange. Right. Okay. Yeah. And in the PO, what will be the item category? L. Item category is the L. Is it visible? Yeah. Very good. This is the process. That's all. But it has got many other details like accounting, journal created, over consumption. Uh, or yeah, yeah. I think because of, because of time, I I think this is clear and this yeah. is enough for now. Yeah, yeah. Now let us go to the material requirement plan. MRP material requirement plan.
so let us go to the material requirement planning yes very good it's important subject right yes right. it is 008 right material plan yeah so material. i want to understand what is the uh, mrp and what is mrp run right now let us discuss with the material requirement planning first what are the basics of mrp yeah and uh, please uh, let's do the same what we did so subcontracting we need the business uh, overview and in in very simple understanding then yeah. we will move to the subject so we'll do as much as possible uh, as possible subjects very good yeah. so material requirement planning it is a very particular important process for planning of the raw materials planning of the spare parts planning of the consumables means like uh, utilities utilities means gas or water right electricity everything we can plan in this there are two types of material planning okay so this is the planning process like we have got requirement determination is the first step of procurement cycle so requirement determination will be completed by the material planning process okay so planning there are two types of planning whatever we know also if we have got some definition of master data like source list then we can do automatic source determination during the material planning got it if we have got source list then we can do automatic source determination during the material plan means what is the source of supply right yeah. contract now these are the two specific sub process covered in the material plan what is the requirement determination by the material planning and what will be the source determination 